Fisherman Ned with a tentacool. Poison Sting, this is pre-fairy type, so Poison Sting is fine. And Confusion might one-shot here? Ten no, that's not a one-shot at all. I either really overestimated Ralts' special attack or really underestimated Tentacool's special defense. Probably the latter. Tentacool is very specially bulky. But still a three-shot. Three shot, that'll give Ralts up to level 12. Defeat Fisherman Ned. Then go over here and face this Fisherman. Fisherman Elliot, three Pokemon. First one is Magikarp. Confusion, not a one-shot. Only 42 EXP. Next up is Tentacool. Only level 7, so should be able to at least two-shot. And it is a one-shot. And last is another Magikarp. And this Magikarp will also be a two shot with confusion. And he will register us in the Pokenav, and we will probably never come back to rematch him. Hidden Stardust in this rock. I think there's also an item over here. Yes, there is a Pokeball. Now we will go ahead and head into the Doofer Gym. I'm pretty sure I remember the path how to get to Brawly, but I've Ralts needs to train more, so. I'm going to try to face every trainer. Meditite, not the Pokemon that I want to see. Part Psychic, part Fighting, so Confusion is only normal effective. Gonna go ahead and s switch train here. Bring in Marshtomp. Meditate, raising its attack, but that's fine. Don't even know if it has any physical attacks at this point. You know what? I think I might just go ahead and face Brawly. Go ahead and use an Oran Berry. Nope, not check tag. Use an Oran Berry on a couple Oran Berries on Ralts to get it back up to full health. We'll see how we do against Brawly. I don't think Ralts will be able to do all that much. Ralts is still very underleveled. Hopefully it can at least beat the... I think Machop comes out first. Yeah, Machop. Level 16. Ooh, I don't know if Ralts can handle this Machop. 
Low kick shouldn't do much. 8 damage, more than I expected. And Confusion is a 3 shot. Seismic, to Seismic Toss is scary, that's gonna do 16 damage. So because I don't want Ralts to faint and want it to get experience, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Marshtomp now. And hope Marshtomp can just sweep the team. Brawly uses the Super Potion. Go ahead and start using Mudshot. Ooh, Mudshot's even a 3-hit KO on this Machop. Using Bulk Up, raising its defense. Gonna switch... How much does Water Gun do? Water Gun does not do much. Karate Chop, that's the move I'm scared of. Hopefully Water Gun kills from this range. It does. Ralts up to level 13. Meditite. I'm gonna actually switch out to Wismer here. This Meditite usually just goes for... Um... Focus Punch. So as long as Wismer doesn't miss Uproar, should be able to defeat it and get a ton of experience. And yep, Meditite is just going for Focus Punch like I suspected. I don't know how many power points Focus Punch has, though. It might actually run out. Focus Punch might only have 5 PP. And yep, Meditite just keeps going for Focus Punch. Brawl used the Super Potion. I didn't realize he had a second one. Still just using Focus Punch. After the Super Potion, it probably will run out of Focus Punches before Wismer can KO though. How many power points does Focus Punch have? It's lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. And 312 experience for Wismer. All the way up from level 7, level... Level 10. Now Makuhita's coming out, switch back to Marsh Stomp. Makuhita's scary, it's got Vital Throw. Vital Throw will, will take a huge chunk out of Marsh Stomp. It's level 19, higher level than Marsh Stomp even. 3 hit KO. Lowered its speed, but it, that doesn't matter. Bulk up. Raising its defense. Not much I will do less. Two bulk ups. Definitely switching to water gun now. It'll eat an orange berry, I believe. Citrus berry. Didn't realize they were already using Citrus Berries this early. Vital Throw, that's gonna KO Marsh Stomp. Yep, I think that would've KO'd Marsh Stomp from full health.
Here's where the speed drops do help. Oh, that only did like 1 HP of damage. Try to weaken this Makuhit as much as I can with the rest of the team before switching into Rolts. Hopefully an effect, an, eh, an effect spore will happen here. Effect spore? Actually, Makuhit has guts, so uh, no effect spore anyway. There we go, critical hit. This Makuhita, once it gets bulk ups up, it, it is terrifying. Hopefully it's in range to be KO'd by Confusion now. Moment of truth. It is. And Ralts didn't even gain a level from it. Definitely could have trained up more for that gym battle. <laughs> that was very, very close. TMA 08 bulk up. Gonna keep it around. I might use it on someone. Honestly, I might use a Hariyama on the team. I do love Hariyama. Onward to Granite Cave. And I have Granite Cave memorized in this game, but I'm going to teach Flash. I think Dinkata can learn it. Yeah, Dinkata can learn it. Escape rope. Just go all the way to the right, then go back all the way to the left, Then go up to get an Everstone. Actually right into a wild Pokemon. Makuhita. Aeron. I still have Ralts out front. Oh, critical hit. I'm not sure if it would have one-shotted without it. I actually wanted to catch that Aron. Agron is one of the Pokemon that I'm debating potentially using on the team. There's Sableye, who in pre-fairy type had no weaknesses. Okay, should be able to live one more water gun.
And oh, broke out immediately. Wow, this Sableye does not want to be caught. It's only on like 1 HP. There we go. Caught the Sableye. Get the Everstone. There's a Makuhita. Ah, oh, one shot. There's another Makuhita. This one's level 8. I'm gonna send out Shroomish to weaken it. Hope for effect spore to take effect finally. And I think I only have one Pokeball to try to catch it. I can always come back and get a Makuhita later. I know you can catch Makuhita and Hariyama later in the game too, but I want to get one as early as possible. Critical hit tackle, no effects for. Another critical hit tackle. Focus energy really working in effect spore paralysis. Thank you. Thank you, Shroomish. You did your job. Switch out to Ninkata. Alright, red health, paralyzed, only one Pokeball to try to catch it. Thank you. There we go, Ralt's up to level 14. I believe Ralt evolves at 18 or 20, I can't remember for certain. I want to say it evolves at level 20 and then again at level 30. I've used it often enough that I really should know. Anyway, we delivered the letter to Steven Stone, get the TM for Steel Wing. Now we can make our way out of Duford.
Okay, get Ninkata off the team and bring in Makuhita. Got four team members now. Two more spots left. Trying to decide what I want my last team member to be. I have five of them figured out. In the next episode, we will explore Slateport.